In this lesson, let's learn about how to set up the Discord bot application in the Windows machine. So for that, the first dependency is we need to have the Node.js installed. Go to the Node.js official page, LTS. This is a long-term support. This is recommended for most of the users. So click this Windows installer. Once this get downloaded, then execute this file. Once you execute this file, go to the command prompt. So run cmd and in the command prompt you need to check whether the node.js is installed or not for that you need to use node space hyphen v so we are trying to check the version of the node so we got the version is greater than 12 to develop the discord bot application we need to have the node version greater than 12 so this is fine to go with this version so now let's also check whether we have npm also installed along with the node so npm stands for node package manager we use this for the downloading the dependencies and to maintain the packages node modules so uh, let's check whether it was installed or not yeah we got npm also installed so next we need to install any of the favorite id so if your favorite uh, to the sublime text or atom or uh, webstorm you you can go with the you, your favorite ids but uh, we'll go with the uh, vs code here so this is uh, one of the famous id vs code you can go to this website this is their vs code official website you can download the windows version here and thereafter you can install this windows uh, env file so once the vs code was installed you can go again you can uh, go back to the command prompt here so i'm just creating one directory here this code windows setup so i'm just creating a directory and uh, cd i'm changing back to this directory here if you click code space dot it means i'm trying to open this folder in the visual studio so code space dot means here dot is like uh, the path of the file so i'm uh, saying this is the path of the file so if you click enter this discord bot folder would be open in the Win vs code so now it is empty so you can use the terminal here so new terminal so i'm going to the terminal and new terminal this is same as a command prompt let me zoom it so yep i think this would be enough so here i will uh, try to create one uh, package json file we know npm init space hyphen y is a command we use to install the package.json file. Now we got the package.json file here. So later on, we'll create the index.js file. Index.js file. Once we create the package.js file, index.js file, we need to create, install the dependency. So you know the dependency is node.js discord. This is a dependency we need to develop the discord bot. So I'm copying this command uh, i will paste the command here i want to install node on discord.js so once it was installed we can we can we need to install few more packages so like uh, i will uh, let, let me create one more file called uh, .env so this env file is to maintain the bot token so bot underscore token Is equal to you need to paste the bot token so go back to the application and uh, we have a uh, saved it in uh, environment variables bot and i will copy paste this command this is a bot token i will copy that command and i will paste that in the visual studio let me paste that in the visual studio yep i'm pasting that here in the env file so once i save this so how to access this env value in the index.js so earlier we have used uh, uh, in the repel we have used the secret environment variables so in a normal uh, node.js application whether it, when it was installed in uh, the vs code you need to install one more package called dot env so let's do that so npm install dot env to access the environment variables 
I'm using this package .env. So let's see how to access these variables. So I'm going back to the index.js file. So let me zoom it one more. So I'm creating constant discord is equal to require. I'm uh, importing the node discord JS dependency. And next, I need to do create an object for the client. Constant client new discord dot client. I'm creating an object to this client. So later on, I need to log in with this client. Client dot login. I need to go to the process as we discussed. Process dot env dot bot token. So this is how we need to access. So before accessing this environment variables, we have installed dot dot env dependency. So how to use that dot env dependency means so. You're trying to access the env variable like this, but we'll be getting an undefined here because we have not imported the environment file in this file. So how to import that require? So you need to do require dot env dot config. This is how you need to import the dot env file into this index.js file. Now you can get the value in this bot token. So let's see that. So I will run this application. So before we we are going to run this application, we are going to install one more dependency that is NodeMon. We have seen NodeMon. This is to continuously watch the index.js file for the further changes. And uh, I'm going to package.json file to add the script tag. So then I will keep it comma. And I'm adding a dev. Now I'm adding the one more script node mon space index.js. So now this node mon would be watching the index.js file continuously. So now node mon was also installed. So let me run npm run dev. So I'm running npm run dev here. So now it will run the application. So npm run dev. I think something was code. So I need to we need to install this node mon globally. So npm install hyphen g node mon. So we need to install this node mon globally. Once the node mon was installed globally, we can run the application. So before running the application, we need to keep in mind that here the in the replet the application should not run. You need to stop the replet server. If you have been developed uh, following the lesson from the beginning to the ending, you may be having developed that in the replet. So you should stop that replet server because at a time you can't log in with the same bot token in the replet and in the Windows mission. So make sure that you stop this node server here and go back. And once the node mon is installed, you run and log in into the bot with here. So it is saying that it was missing. I think uh, we have not saved the changes to the package or JS. Failed to save the content of the file is newer. So it was modified. Now I'm unable to save the changes here. So let me check once why. All right. So just I have clicked over right. Now I can save the changes here. So you can see I'm running npm run dev. So once you run npm run dev, the node mon was started and it is running. So if you go back to the application here, the bot came into online. In the replet, it is not working, running. The application is not running, but we have run that in the Windows mission. So it is running here. So the rest of the lessons you can follow in the same format. You can create the commands folder and you can work through the same. All the lessons would be the same, only the setup we have seen here. So hope you understand this.